Hey guys, I uh, changed my channel name so I can't just say Carlson Franks anymore, but uh, I got some news today. It's gonna be a little bit of story time, but uh, alright, here we go. So today was an average day of school. It was a little cold, um, and then uh, I don't know why, it was like 40 degrees, but they still let us go outside and eat out and eat at lunch tables outside. And I did exactly that. Um, it was like a normal day, went to my classes in the morning, the classes of my morning were pretty chill, you know, ELA, all that stuff, I called ELA, might be language right for you, but yeah, um, math, so studies, slash history, all that, and so it came around lunchtime, and I went outside, and I sat down, opened up my bag, and I sat down at the table. Time is... It was really cold, and I was wearing a jacket on top of a t-shirt. So, the t-shirt was very, very stiff, and my jacket was not really, like, it was pressing against my shirt, and it made it, um, extremely, like, pressed in and compact, and it was an extreme problem, like, really, really bad. And so, um... I cut my nipples. My nipples were cut. I cut the top of my nipples off. I don't have any nipples anymore. So, yeah, this is a major problem. I called 911. They said they can give me new tips soon. But, uh, they said it would take like a day. So, yeah, this is my story time. I had the time I cut my nipples off. And, um, I tried to feel for my nipples. And they were actually in my friend's spaghetti pizza. And I didn't actually really know what to do except sit there and scream. There was blood everywhere. Everybody thought I was lactating and just like pouring milk out of my, and my what my nipples. And but no, it it was blood. There was blood coming out of my my nipples. Um, they tried to stop the bleeding, but it went inside of the lunch monitor's mouth. Um, he started screaming, and he actually started sucking on my nipple. Um, that was the worst part. It, it, it really wasn't good. It was honestly very scary. He kept on making spaghetti sounds, like, like slurping spaghetti. Um, it was honestly a very scary experience. Um, I, I honestly didn't know what to do, and then they had to call the cops, and they started beating on my nipples, and I don't know why, but they started just abusing them, getting their clubs going, hey, we can get them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they hurt, and every time, like, I lay down, they start bleeding, and I just cry. It's just it's so sad. And also, um, since that happened, a fat man also came up and he had man boobs and he started actually lactating. So it was like a red blood and milk mix. It was honestly a very scary combination. Very, very scary indeed. Um, there was a fat man named, that, that fat man was named Pablo Escobar. Um, other than his Eddie 11K, he was a horrible man. He started lacking everywhere, going, <laughs> and, like, peeing everywhere. I called him a pedophile, but he never stopped. It was a very, very, like, worst-case scenario that could happen that uh, he would pee in me, but I stopped that so that nothing happened. It was a very scary experience. Um... I started crying, and so the big fat spaghetti man named my whole monster started screaming, and yeah, it 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 was honestly, I started crying, man. I didn't know what to do. Like, I'm sorry, you had to hear this guy. Just don't watch this video if you're very squirmish, and so like. A man pulled up in a red car after I was done not cheating, and I started screaming, and I didn't know what to do, you know, just sat there screaming. The man in the red car was actually Lightning McQueen, and after that, I gave up all hope. I started licking his ass and his exhaust pipes. It was so majestic. It was... Uh, it was
was exhausting. 